Hi boys and girls, parents and carers. I have a little video for you today and it's all about moving your body. On the kids trackers in the health and wellbeing section we look at hopping, jumping, skipping and really just helping kids to learn how to move their bodies the way that they want it to move. This is really good for it. What I have done, have got little bits of paper and this time I focused on my name. So I have wrote the letters of my name on bits of paper and I've made it look like puddles. I've got all the letters of my name and I've put them all over my floor in different areas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump from letter to letter to spell my name out. So my name is Heather, it starts with a H. So I'm going to look for the H, I'm going to jump on it. Then the next letter is an A, so I'm going to look for an A and it's a way over here, so I'm going to do a big jump to get to there. A. Then I'm going to do an A. Ah. Oh, that's really far away, I don't know if I'll beat this jump. Ah, just. Then it's a t, t. Let's go, oh, it's really far. T. Then another h. Then a e. Then a r. And I've just jumped all of my name. And after you've jumped, maybe you could hop. Hoping really hard because you've got to balance on one leg. Oh, t. Oh, that's tricky. And then I'll go for an A. You could try. You could also use this for letter recognition. You could have all the letters of the alphabet and your adult could be shouting out different letters and you could be jumping to them. You can do this with numbers. I've made some numbers here. And I'm going to lay them out on the floor just now and I'll show you how you could use the numbers to play a different game if you want to focus on numeracy. Okay boys and girls, I have all the numbers all over the floor now, but I've got one missing this time. I'm going to use this activity this time to sequence my numbers, but also to try and find out what number is missing. Let's see if you can help me. Okay, I'm going to start at, what number do I start at? Number one, you're right. Okay, let's start at number one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So I'm on number one. And what's after number one? Two. Got number two. And after number two, it's number three. Then I'm looking for number four. What's after number four? Hmm. Five. Oh, let me see, where's number five? Oh, boys and girls, I think I've solved the mystery. You've helped me to solve the mystery. It's number five that's missing. Number five's missing. I'll put it over here. Okay, number five. Then it's number six. Then number seven. Then number eight, then number nine, and then number, what's the big number at the end? Ten. Well done, you've done really good counting and that was really helpful for me. So as you can see, you can use this movement activity for anything really. If you want to make it a bit simpler, you could use it for colours. If you want to recognise colours, you could even use it for listening attention. You could put little pictures of their favourite characters, PJ Masks or superheroes or Peppa Pig, and they've got to listen to the character that you're shouting out, and then they've got to jump onto that puddle. This is also a fun activity to take outside. If you're going outside, you might want to get some chalk, and you could draw the puddles on the floor outside. 
kids could help you. They can do some mark making. They could write the numbers. They could copy your numbers. So I hope you've enjoyed this activity and if you give it a try, don't forget to send us a wee picture or a video. Okay, bye.